What's up guys? Long time no see. Time to look up at Callista. Even though we have currently no ADCs being played, I still believe in their comeback though. Callista's main problem is something that stops her from jumping. So pick someone like Ash who can alter to stop her annoying hopping and poke her away from chasing. Caitlyn has her traps who can really make her job difficult and Vayne can push her away from one more auto so she can't keep up. Zaya can root her when she's chasing, Quinn can blind her away and Draven's E can come a long way in stopping her dead in her tracks. Callista's passive is a really weird one. First of all, it changes her auto attack mechanics in a strange way. They only deal 90% of AD and they allow her to hop to a location if you click move in between instead of cancelling the animation. It also grants her a unique item which she can use to create an oath sword out of one of her allies. Let's start by looking at her E. It passively makes her autos leave a spear on their target and when activated will deal damage based off of how many spears were destroyed in the process. For some reason and fun fact, it can only stack up to 254 times. It also resets its cooldown and refunds mana if it kills at least one target. Her Q will allows her to throw a spear spear and hop and will also send all of the stack spears flying through to the next target if it kills it. Her W passively grants her AD when she's near her Oathsworn and will deal extra damage if both are hitting the same target. When activated, it will launch a small sentinel that roams and grants her vision of the area. Finally, her ultimate will call her Oathsworn to her, placing them in stasis for up to 4 seconds and will allow their ally to launch themselves and knock enemies up when he hits. Kind of like this animation. Her hops basically allow her to always keep chasing and kiting, so keep that in mind when you're following her around. Maybe she's the one hunting you. Like most ADCs, she'll be taking the heal flash combo and so will you if you're playing the bot lane as well. As for power spikes, like most ADCs, she'll get a real power boost when she's finished building. Level 2 with just Q and E can be deadly as well as a fully built Runans and Bork. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, her Q will send her rent stacks flying to the next target, so stay clear of impaled minions. She can save her support when he's in trouble, so don't be baited. And she'll kite you for days. Ultimately, have fun doing it.